Hey everybody and welcome back to the Motor One US channel where today I'm in Munich, Germany with some very exciting Mercedes-Benz concept cars in advance of the IAA Mobility Show which kicks off tomorrow. And tonight Mercedes showed off the future of their company in electric car form. That includes the car behind me which is the Mercedes EQS SUV Maybach. This is the future of Maybach, and in a lot of ways, it's the future of Mercedes. So join me right now, and let's take a first look. So let's break down that name a little more, and it'll start to make sense. First and foremost, this is a Maybach. Then after that, it is a Mercedes EQ, and then it's an EQS SUV. Now, you might be thinking, EQS, that sounds familiar. Well, that's because that's a hatchback, which is actually right down there. Um, that's also an EQS, but that's sort of the car version. This is going to be EQS SUV, just sort of like the GLS gas car. Are you with me? Are you not with me? I don't know. What I do know is that this is also the first time we've ever seen an electrified Maybach. This is a concept car, I should stress that. But we could be seeing a production version as soon as 2022 for a non-Maybach version, and this very car could be on the road as early as 2023. What I can do is break down the design a little bit because they've told us some details on the car while keeping a lot of things close to the chest. Let's start at the back actually, where you have this big light bar, the, the sort of unibrow that goes across the back. We've seen that on the EQC, we've seen that on the EQS that's down there. Um, that's definitely gonna be something that Mercedes is keeping with their EQ products. We have a nice Maybach badge here. And a little bit of chrome detailing which we've seen on, of course, a lot of the, the gas-powered Maybach cars. Two things I want to point out here. Maybach crest on the back, I want that to light up, I'll tell you that. If this thing makes production, that thing better light up. And then, 24-inch wheels, friends. Never seen 24-inch wheels on a production car. Will these make production? I don't know, let's wait and find out. Uh, the door handles do go flush into the bodywork, just like the other EQS. That, again, seems like a thing they're going to be doing with EQ models, and check this out. We have some Maybach logos that are upside down and right side up across some very big chrome bright work. Sort of a neat touch. I don't know why they're upside down, if that anything has anything to do with the electric cars, uh, but I like it, why not? Now let's get around to the face, because that very well could be where things get most controversial. You can see the general shape of the EQS car, it's just a little bit bigger. Now where they made it Maybach is with these chrome slats that are on the GLS and the S-Class, both of those Maybach. And the same goes here. Maybach name here, Mercedes-Benz hood ornament here, and this lovely piece of chrome which we've seen with some of the production cars. Let me take a step back so you can see the whole thing at once without running into traffic with people here. Overall, it's about the size of a GLS. That's just eyeballing it. But there's definitely a more roundedness to it, which makes sense because this has to be more aerodynamic. They haven't given specific range figures, obviously, um, but this thing definitely will have to cut through the air much more than the gasoline car will just to get the range out of it. Obviously, it's going to weigh a ton as well, uh, which will bog down the range. I wish I could show you the interior, but the car is locked. I know we have a couple of images that we can probably put on the screen right now, but I do know that this has the, the hyper screen, uh, which is in the EQS car. Back here, totally Maybach. Two big seats that are pushed back, all the luxury stuff that you would expect out of a Maybach. And this one has a bunch of rose gold in it as well. That is pretty much all we know for right now. I wish I could tell you more, uh, but I'm sure we'll know more as this thing gets closer to production form and it makes us excited. I mean, look over here. We have a couple more Mercedes EQ cars. This company is very clearly going electric and they're doing it in a bunch of different ways. AMGs, Maybox, all the stuff we're used to seeing with Mercedes is going electric. For more on everything I just talked about with this car behind me and to see some of our other first lick videos, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And if not, head over to motorone.com as well where we have written stories on everything as well. As always, thanks for watching.